Hey golf people, good morning. I have been up literally since 326 is when my eyes opened and that's because I could not contain the excitement for what is in my hands right here. I've got a new set of clubs. We're gonna unbox them here. We're gonna take them out on course. We're gonna set an over under of plus two because these clubs I think are gonna be really good. The value these things present I think might be right now the best on the market when it comes to big name brands. Let me unbox them here and show you what I've got. Here's what we got. The box literally just came yesterday. I've been sitting on these things and here you go. They're individually wrapped in this bubble wrap. I'm holding the camera with one hand, so there we go, guys. What do you think of that? The O211. This is actually last year's model and the price on these is absolutely incredible. Right now, $79 a club as of me making this video for last year's model. <laughs> That's about as good as golf club buying gets. Take on another one here. Boy, what do we got there? That's the six irons. So this will give you a good idea. I'll tell you what, in terms of a club profile, it's not a super thick top end, which I really like, and the offset is very minimal as well. That is a beautiful club. I got the four through pitching wedge here in this set. It cost me under $500. That is a steal, guys. Well, the golf shop has just informed me that I will be playing the pine side here today at Carewood, which is really the shot makers course, so it's perfect to test these clubs out. First hole is a shorter par five, just over 500 yards. Gotta carry some water here with the drive, but after a few more good shots, we should be on the green. Let's do it. Ooh, I kind of tugged that one left, so we'll get a good test if we can keep the ball low, because I'm gonna have to go under some trees here on the next shot, I think. Hopefully get us into good position to make a strike at birdie on this par five. Now, I did take these clubs out on the range this morning. They felt really good. In terms of distance on the range, tough to tell, obviously, and we'll find out for sure here on course, but it looked really good to me as well. Now, these O211s, as I mentioned before, are the 2021 model. There was a model released in 2019. These were updated. PXG calls these ones dual core, so 0211 DC, that's what that means. Inside of this club, it's hiding all sorts of technology. It's a hollow body design, which we've seen from manufacturers like TaylorMade and Mizuno here as well. These ones extremely well priced. That to me is the difference, so I wanna see if they perform just as well. Let's hit our shot now. All right, well that was a pretty poor drive, but luckily it was so bad, I've got some room here to see if I can kind of hook one around and get us into position. I'm taking out the five iron. I've got a lot of grass between my club face and the ball. Let's we'll see how these things react and get through the rough. That got through the rough pretty well, even though the swing wasn't the greatest. All right, guys, we've got 163 to a front pin here. I'm going to go seven iron and see if this club has enough pop to get us there. Push that one out to the right a little bit and I came up a little bit short, so we're gonna have to get up and down. Well, first swings of the day, they're not completely stellar. We're gonna have to get up and down here. But I will say, for a thin shot right there, this club was rather forgiving and it definitely went on target. So we'll see how we progress through the day once we hit a few crispy shots. But in terms of forgiveness, in terms of workability on that first shot, workability, getting around that, that limb there that had a nice bend to it and forgiveness right there on the second shot. No complaints, that's for sure. Distance wise, honestly, not too bad. I'm about 12 yards short on a very thin shot. So I still hit that 151, but let's get up and down here. The greens are a little bumpy. We're gonna have to hit it close so we don't have to putt it too much. That's a par, kind of lucky for as bad as I swung the club there. Let's go to two. Well guys, ugly par, but hey, a par is a par, and I am a mere mortal after all. If you enjoy watching golf reviews from a mere mortal, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Man, I don't drive it 350 yards, but uh, we have a lot of fun, and I test clubs from a perspective that I think is a little bit more relatable. Hit subscribe, I'm gonna hit my second drive here. 
So a real nice thing about these PXG clubs is you can spec them out to your preferences and there's no upcharge unless you get into some really custom shafts. So for all of the main things, no upcharge, that makes it really nice. I set these clubs up one degree upright. I'm using True Temper Elevates. These are stiff flex and 95 gram shafts. I've got medium sized grips because I've got some big hands and uh, that gives me a little bit more control. So that's my setup. I'd love to know your setup too, by the way. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like your club set up. Be interesting, especially in terms of grips. Who likes their grips regular? Who likes some medium? Who likes some extra thick and all that kind of stuff. All right, I hit a really good drive here. So we're gonna be able to test out the wedge, see if we can get some nice control with this thing. just short and I hit it again just a little thin probably a groove and a half too thin nice height though nice trajectory let's go get up and down again luckily my chipping game keeps me in it so another thing I like about these clubs being a little bit of a lower handicap I'm a five handicap right now I think 5.1 to be exact the thing I like about it is that you're getting a lot of good feel it's very responsive off the club face sometimes these game improvement clubs can really all feel too good at times especially the hollow bodied one because you don't really know when you've made good contact or when you've made less than good contact like i have today but i'll tell you what i'm feeling it right now now it's not a bad feeling in any way it's actually a good thing so i know where I hit the ball on the club face. That would be very helpful to you mid handicappers out there as you're trying to improve your game. All right, we've got 170 to the pin. I'm gonna go six iron here. Tell you what, still not the perfect strike, but it's up there. We're on the front of the green. We got to putt at it. Now, if you know this course, you know that I actually skipped two holes here because I'm playing now the fifth hole even though here on this video it's my third hole. And the reason is my camera was completely out of storage and I had to scramble, people are behind me, and I had to scramble to delete some old videos off here to give us some storage space. So I will see if I can replay those. Worst case, I'm gonna play two extra holes on the next nine to make up for it. So again, I absolutely love the fact that I can immediately feel the contact on these clubs. That's very, very nice. And again, Still pretty forgiving because it wasn't perfect contact and here I am with a birdie putt. Gotta hit it with these punched greens. Okay, off to our fourth hole. Well guys, so for not hitting them very good, we're still managing to make some pars. We're still even par here. It's time to start performing with these irons. It's not the irons right now. It's definitely the swinger. All right, we got really lucky because I just came very close to the bunker, but I didn't go in the bunker. I've got 179 to the hole. I'm gonna hit a five iron here. I'd rather be long than short for sure because there's a bunker short left. Let's see what these things can do. Good lie as well. So nice. I hit the distance. I just was aimed a little right and it went very, very straight. So we're gonna be in the bunker there, but man, that felt good. That was my first really good contact. And again, instant feedback. I know I hit it well. It's exactly where I aimed. I just, uh, golf is mental, guys. Yeah, there you go. Pin high in the bunker, just a little right. Let's see how my bunker play is today. Short game is sharp, thankfully. All right, after a so-so drive, we are just left of the fairway, but straight shot at the pin. We've got 144, probably playing about 151, actually. A little wind in my face. This hole always plays long. I'm going to go with the 8-iron here. Came out of there pretty nice, but a little off to the right again. 
and I'm in another bunker. I just seem to be pushing all of these irons a little right all of a sudden. <laughs> what are you gonna do? We got another chance to get up and down though. So if you're keeping track of my greens and regulation, I think we only have one out of five right now. We're so lucky to be even par, it's not even funny. Just haven't played a whole lot of golf this summer. Honestly, it's been so hot. You can probably see I'm sweating and it's 8.30 or so in the morning right now, maybe almost nine, but boy, conditions have been tough in Florida. It's very wet, it's very soggy, very humid, but you know what, that's all excuses. <laughs> and uh, the fact of the matter is I'm just not swinging it well. And in some ways I feel like I'm not doing justice by these clubs because I think they're really good clubs. That one again felt good coming off the club face again, just push it a little bit right. Anyways, we'll have a par three after this one, but first we gotta try to get back up and down. Okay, this could be a bogey if we don't roll a long putt in here. Well, the good news is we're going to have an immediate chance to get one back here as we head to a short par three. We should have a nine iron in our hand, about 135. That was a good shot. All right, pin high here was a very good shot. Exactly perfect for distance, so time to roll one in. Hey, we're back on the par train. Well guys, I mean, as bad as I'm hitting the ball, we are still in decent shape for our over under of plus or minus two. We're only one over. We are heading to another par five here. Then we'll have two par fours to end it. So in terms of distance with these clubs, I would say you've got plenty of distance. They are not the longest clubs I've ever tried in this category, that's for sure. I think the stealths right now seem to be the longest, but they are very, very far forward pressed as well. So there is that. But I would say these are pretty comparable to my Sim 2s, maybe just a couple of yards less possibly. But for the distance you use, you definitely make it up with number one, feel, number two, workability. And I think that's really important and probably spin, although I'll have to check those numbers in the simulator to make sure, but that's what it seems like out here because I'm not getting a ton of roll once the ball hits the green. Really good clubs, really good clubs, but we got to score with them now. First, we're going to hit a layup shot <laughs> and then we're going to attack. That should be perfect. The other thing that I like about these clubs is the look at a dress. It is a much thinner profile on the top end than what I've currently been playing in my Sim 2s, as well as the Stealths and some other of these game improvement clubs out there. 121 gives us another opportunity to hit a nice wedge into this island green. Woo! <laughs> it's a little wet out here, and I hit that a little chunky. But we still made the green. We've got a long putt, but we did make the green. And that's a win on this hole. Here we are, front of the green. Long putt to go here. Whew. All right, we've got two holes left. One stroke still to play with. So it's really time to make a birdie though with these clubs. All right, time for us to hit a good crisp one. I've got 135, I'm going nine iron here. There it is, man, that felt good. That's the first time I made really good contact today and that is a birdie opportunity, guys. Well, it just goes to show you what you can do when you actually make a good swing at it. Boy, that felt really nice. First good swing of the day. But that's just how forgiving these clubs have been today. I'm somehow only one over, and it should be a lot uglier than that. How about this one, guys? Let's check out where the mark is. Look at that. It hit right here and stuck. That thing is dead. That is, I don't know, four and a half inches? <laughs> there you go. Now we're feeling it. This is our last shot of the day with these PXGs. So let me give you my final thoughts here before I take it. In terms of distance, like I said, I think it is very good. It's 
what you would expect in this category of clubs. It's not necessarily exceptional, but where it is exceptional is in feel, in appearance. You could see the stopping power there with the nine iron on the last hole, so spin is going to be real good. I think these are a really solid club that you should check out. Definitely put it on your short list for the price and the value dollar for dollar. It's gonna be hard to beat guys because there aren't many sets around or under $500 that you're gonna be able to find in this category guys. And at least in terms of premium clubs. So really like what I saw. Also very workable, very good with forgiveness because I didn't hit the ball well today here until the end. So. Really, I'm going to give this a strong four and a half out of five. Lots of value packed inside. 123 uphill, going pitch and wedge. Let's end it strong. Nice and high. Man, I'm finally striking the ball well. A little left to target, but we got to putt at it. There we go. Actually hit it past the pin for once today. Well, we don't have to make this putt, but it would be nice to end one under. Worst case, I think we're going to be even par, which is pretty darn solid. Let's drain it, though. I count my chickens before they hatch there. <laughs> Honestly kind of deserved that. But I'll tell you what, the clubs felt a lot better when you hit them well today. And I finally did that and I'm happy about that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you'll hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't watched this video, I've made 11 mistakes when buying clubs over the course of my career. How many have you made? Go find out. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.